Well, I've got this book about tree loosen here, and I'll, um, I'll put the details in the sidebar. But let's read this important bit in here about tree loosen as human food. It's by Lawrence C. Snook, S N W O K. Use as human food. The, f the foliage of tagasast, if that's how it's pronounced, I'm not sure what I call it tree loosen. The foliage of tagasast is rich in the proteins, minerals, and vitamins lacking in the diets of many people in famine stricken countries. There is no reason why this foliage should not be included in human foods as are the young shoots collected from shrubs and trees by peasant women in Asian countries. Tagasast leaves have a benign flavour and their presence is not obvious when mixed in salads. If the shredded leaves are added to soups and curries, the nutritive value of the dish will be enhanced considerably. It should be possible to devise a variety of ways in which the high quality terminal shoots can be prepared so that they form a significant portion of tasty foods. The author and associates have found tagasast leaves acceptable as a food supplement, though no attempt was made to create new recipes. Certainly, if tagasast trees were planted in areas subject to drought, the leaves would provide a, a valuable food supplement long after all other sources of home-grown food had become exhausted. Well, they tell us a few things here, don't they? It sounds like they weren't absolutely, uh, they didn't, uh, weren't that turned on by the taste. They found the tagasast leaves acceptable <laughs> as a food supplement. Well, I mean... Mm. And no attempt was made to create new recipes. <laughs> well, that's because, obviously, they're not super tasty. Mm. And they said up, up further, they said the leaves have a benign flavour, and their presence is not obvious when mixed in salads. Obviously, they uh, didn't weren't that turned on by them, but they, um, they're not without... Well, they don't have a lot of flavour. Let's have a look. A couple of uh, tender young leaves here. I just don't have any particular flavour. No particular flavour. I can see why they wouldn't be... Um, well, they're not like a lettuce. But they're not unpleasant. They're not bitter like some things are. Quite a nice flavour. I mean, well, there isn't much flavour, but I mean, you could... Uh, they're pretty bland, but you could put them in salads, soups, anything. And the native birds love these, of course, the nectar-eating birds. And... Um, Yes, drought resistance, so many virtues. I'll put them in the sidebar, all the many virtues, and I'll put that little extract in too. So tasty, I mean, for the, so tasty for the birds. And it's good to know um, as a last resort uh, food to eat in an emergency. You could use them in salads. But they're not a, there's nothing, I suppose they do have their own flavour. You probably get used to them after a while. Not a, you know, not a really strong flavour or anything. They'd be, I suppose, innocuous. Is that what you'd call it? If you put them in a salad, they certainly would blend. They're right, really. They're, I suppose they're right not to rave about them as a, as a culinary item. But they're a good food, um, emergency food, good permaculture food. Look. I'm looking here at tree loosen blossoms. They attract the uh, native honey eaters. They do. And they bloom in spring, which is good because early spring, because there's not much, too much food around for honey eaters at that time of year. They should do, these grow all over the world anyway, loosen trees. So they should do hummingbirds too, uh, make them happy. And the thing is, you can eat the leaves too, the fresh new shoots. Let's try to see what they taste like. Hmm, nondescript. They're not bitter or anything, so they could be used in a salad. Yes. Where are they? There they are. They're quite, you know, they're not offensive. They're, they taste quite nice. They're not much taste, really. You could use them with anything, in a sandwich or in a soup or a salad. Mm, look at them, aren't they fantastic? They're so pretty and they do have perfume as well. They have a nice perfume. Mm. I'm a member of the pea family, so they enrich... Uh, they've got pea-like flowers. And they enrich the soil with nitrogen. And they're a good stock feed. 
and if you grow them in hedges they make a sort of tunnel uh, along which birds can move safely and uh, they grow very fast. There's so many virtues, they're drought resistant so many good things about them and yes, uh, emergency uh, human food good stock feed oh, I can see some yellow through there, I can see a wattle tree how nice Although it is a distraction, I'm supposed to be talking about tree loosen, aren't I?